one of the first things that you need to do when you read a novel is to get the plot okay to understand the plot now we're lucky this is chronological okay and a chronological plot uh, is the easiest to understand so i know that albert this morning was doing um much ado about nothing chronological plot okay if you're doing other texts like nine days or after darkness or station 11 not chronological okay not chronological so you've got to piece them together so this is written in three volumes it's chronological okay what i'd like you to do is think about the plot of the novel and understanding the plot of the novel i always encourage my students to consider developing a plot map okay so your plot map should be able to for example track and in later iterations of Pride and Prejudice, the notes for winter school and also for exam preparation in September, we actually plot big events on this, okay? Now, it's really useful for you to do yourself, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to tell me what is the event here? What is the point of no return? What are these events here? What is the climax? The reason I ask you to do this is because these are our key events. And typically when we're writing an essay and we want to come across, we want to use evidence from the text, we want to focus on what are the pivotal moments, okay? We're not necessarily focusing on, I guess, uh, less important, less significant events, okay? So this is one way of working out what do I include in my uh, essay, okay? So these are key events. Now, key events, of course, also talk to the whole notion of key characters and key relationships. These reveal key relationships, relships, and key themes. Okay, now I've just done the ultimate no-no in a VCE exam or a SAC. You never use plus or an ampersand. That's an ampersand. You always use the word and. Okay, so please make sure that you do that. Okay, so the plot is something that you're going to have to come to terms with. Now that you've read the novel for the first time, it's not the only time, but for the first time, hopefully you are familiar with a plot that advances over the course of about a year. Okay, so it advances over the course of a year. Okay, so our characters, our characters are, are important, of course. And what I do like about uh, our booklet here is it encourages us to think about the characters and adjectives to describe the characters. Before I continue on with that, there is one more thing. I'm going backwards in time now, a bit of temporal jumping. I saw the movie Tenet recently, still don't understand it understand the inversion and the temporal movement moving in time i'm moving in time now uh, i'm going backwards because with the plot understanding the structure the second thing that i think that you should do over coming days is to think about completing a plot diagram or and uh completing pages 12, uh, 10 to 11, and pages PP 10 to 11 in booklet. It's one thing to read a, a plot synopsis, and I've given you one there. So there's a plot synopsis uh, here that gives you an overview of uh, the text, the novel, which I think is really important. But being able to put it into your own words, being able to understand where are the rises, where are the movements is really, really important. Uh, and I don't know about you, but I would not easily be able to memorise these three pages. Instead, I would rather start to condense this down into a plot diagram or into structure questions like this. Okay, some people like to do a flow chart when they're doing plot so that they can understand the plot. At a very basic level, if you do not understand the plot of a novel, you are going to struggle. Okay, so it's important. I know it seems kind of like I'm telling you, you know, um, something so obvious, but it's amazing to me how people either misunderstand the plot or forget the plot. 
Um, so it's really important that if you've already read um, the novel once, you're reading it again before you do your SAC. If your first SAC is your uh, analysing text your essay on this, you'll be doing it in about six or, oh, six or seven weeks into the term. You should have read it a second time by then. Okay, I know, horrible Catherine telling you to do these things.